You can already tell this game's messing with me. This could be a straightforward question, and I don't know what to say even here. I'm going to lie. I'm going to say no. I could lie. I don't- I don't know how this is gonna affect the game. But alright, we'll go- we'll go accurate time. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. Yeah, this is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Stanley was happy. Let's go. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Oh, hang on. Shocked, wait. frozen solid. Uh-oh. Why did OBS die? Hello? Can you hear me? One day something peculiar happened. Stanley's PC just fucking blue screened in his office. It's weirdly meta with the game crashing like that. I shouldn't have lied to Stanley. Before we get started, can I just say something? Thank you for actually setting the clock both times you booted up the game. A lot of people don't take that step seriously. They just leave the clock set at 12 and call it a day. But you're actually taking the time to set the clock and I appreciate that. Tell you what. I'll make you a deal. <laughs> Oh, this is just creepy already. Since you've been so cooperative, next time you boot up the game and see this screen, just set the clock to your favorite time. Go ahead, pick whichever time you want, even if it's not the correct time. You've earned it. All right, I'll let you get back to the video game now. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Everyone is gone. Can't go back in anymore. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. So this is where it starts to get weird. Let's go right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lock and the door is behind us. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. I'm trying to contemplate what this photograph represents. I think it's a metaphor for society. At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy, and reflected poorly on his overall personality. <laughs> It's possible that this is why everyone left. What does it mean, the glacier melting? Society in trouble. There's no more dialogue anymore. But at last, no, he'd no, had no. the amazing room <laughs> and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. What if I don't want to take the door on the left? Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't <laughs> fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. I'm gonna fall down someone here. Someone you've forgotten about. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero <laughs> consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Now listen carefully, this is All important. Right. Stanley walked through the red door. What if I go blue? Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. <laughs> oh, he's fighting. Stanley walked 
through the red door. Oh, there's a door over here now. All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed oh, no. textures. <laughs> Is this what you had wanted? Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This oh. already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Now, tell me about this your experience somewhere different. with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? <laughs> Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. One is good, is it? No, people are saying both of them are good. Uh, I'm having I'm having a good four time. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. Having a good four. Clearly, there's something here that speaks to you. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Okay, the game has been redone. Some people have been in two seconds. Did you know that 21.3% of players skipped the intro sequence? Only the worst 3% of players chose the blue door. <laughs> We're in the 3%. This is you! <laughs> you are objectively ranked 9,328 out of 9,328 players worldwide. I haven't been playing 8 hours already. A dead rat is offline! No, it's hard to compete with him. It's pretty demoralizing with, with the leaderboard. I feel insignificant. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. Sure thing. In this game, the baby <laughs> crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right. And if he reaches the fire, you fail. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to I mean, make sure it's effective? That's about Be how much sure time I have to stream today. Experience. Oh, this is going to be a long stream. And the sad thing is, right? There is probably something if you play this for four hours. Oh god, my ears! Just kill the baby. Just kill the baby. Just let it die. You heartless bastard. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? It's a bit of both, actually. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely It's very valuable. dark here, Mr. Okay, Narrator. Since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Aha! Fascinating. What do you think this game is about, Stanley? Wait, this is Firewatch! <laughs> what is our motivation? Hmm. Well, it seems I obvious this to me that you are meant to play as a creepy man spying on innocent civilians below you from up high in your creep tower. Perhaps for some sort of twisted, erotic purpose. Oh, no. No, 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 it can't be. What is it? It is. It's an open world game. <laughs> Good God, quickly, block it off. Oh, no, no! <laughs> oh, we're out of the woods now, Stanley. Okay, Strictly I'm going speaking, to get we're in the woods. Here. Let's find another game. <laughs> this is rocket! Wonderful. Like... See, this is exactly what I had in mind. Just a nice big box for you to run around in. <laughs> there isn't is any that? possibility that you could get lost here. Now, this is game design. Stanley, I think it's sports ball. Oh, what fun. Oh, do we I should get a run car? the bases and do a touchdown together? Yes, I think surely we must. Okay, Stanley, here's the ball. Have fun. Uh, am I not gonna get the car as well? <laughs> Are you doing it? Are you winning? Is this fun? Is it better than my miserable little story that I worked so <laughs> no. hard on? Stanley, I have a thought. And I realize I'm not a sportsologist. It's but so if sad. one ball generates a. Hold on. What are you doing? Oh, no! Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. How will you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Stanley, come back. Uh-oh. The narrator's gone. The world's not looking too good. Go into the light. That's room 427. Oh. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. 
very soon. I, I think we're lost in wait. the void. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps it's reset. I don't know if it remembers. No we got sent to the void. Looked, That's he probably not the best path to go on. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. We can still fuck with him. We're going right. Okay, let's take the left this time. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Let's go. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, uh, da, 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 da. from here it's, um, left. Like when your Dungeons and Dragons DM doesn't know what to do because you've veered so far off the main campaign. Oh, no. No, it's oh, to the right. Geez. mistake. Down, You're supposed to right, kill the dragon in the, the mountain. Left, you weren't right. supposed to start up a tailoring yeah, yeah, store okay, for the okay, past yes. seven hours of the campaign. Know. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay. Everyone look okay. away. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. Yeah, sure thing in the radar. <laughs> when Stanley- Wait. Oh wait, no! What? No, I, no, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Okay then, it's an adventure. Come Stanley, let's find the story. Every door is now open. Something's going on with like the office layout now. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. But it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? Oh, we found somewhere at the end there. <laughs> this is getting worse. <laughs> okay, yep, it's worse. Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! <laughs> I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off, so good job. We beat the game. <laughs> All right, I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? We're gonna have an adventure. Let's go, let's follow the line. I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. That, that'll help. <laughs> oh, no. Is that Kevin McLeod royalty free? It's so loud! Wait, cut the music, oh. go back and look at that fern. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. Okay. You won't want to miss anything. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's take a moment to stop here. Somebody clip this bit. This could be very important for the playthrough. I thought this was a horror game. <laughs> Existential horror. It's a category, right? <laughs> oh, no, 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 not again. Line, how could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... Oh, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. Uh, I, do I even bother following the line this you time? You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Okay. Go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. What do we want the story to be, chat? Ordering a pizza. That's the most exciting thing you can come up with. Wait, what? Oh, hold up, what's this? The confusion hmm. ending. Hmm. The confusion ending? You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? No, and we're supposed to restart the game music. Eight, eight times? The narrator has gone after really a long time Stanley ends? dies. It's all determined. The store is exciting. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. Just I won't stuck do here. it. And the timer stopped? Uh oh. Does that mean, um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story, wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. 
Well, in the meantime, if you- Oh, what was that? It's reset again. I don't know if anything's gonna have changed. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. We're just back here. As far as I can tell, is it is it actually reset? Was that an ending? Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Marketing Mondays, Termination Tuesdays, We're Broke Wednesday, Mergers. <laughs> Solve a dispute. <laughs> oh, this is too true. Using slides to assure employees that everything is okay. <laughs> okay, all right, we're gonna move on. I, it's overwhelming. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. What if I just stay here? You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? <laughs> the broom closet ending was my favorite. I hope your friends find this concerning. Oh, I'm excited for this ending. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really <laughs> stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That <laughs> or with drug money. <laughs> also, getting... Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. He's getting really upset. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming, so that the irony and insightful <laughs> commentary of this game is not lost on them. Oh, thanks for the Fs in chat. Right. It was gonna happen sooner that, or later, you know? Into the I'm 27, I only got like a good year left. Ah, second player, it's good to have you <laughs> on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. You too? Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. <laughs> the fish? Okay, Angus. Twitch chat, take Look, the wheel! You can hammer out the details, I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. Admitting he had left his post during work hours, he might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Uh oh Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? I'm dreaming! He yelled. This is all a dream! Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job, he wasn't crazy after all. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Oh, God. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. Uh -oh. Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. Stanley's After having all, a little crisis. For Stanley began screaming. Uh -oh. Please, someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell uh -oh. me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. Uh oh. I think we this lost. This is the story <laughs> of a woman named Mariella. <laughs> Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. 
But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself. Oh, no. And then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this. So it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. God, I feel relief seeing that corpse on the sidewalk. All of his co-workers were gone. We're back. What could it mean? I don't think it ended well Stanley for Stanley. Decided to time. go to the meeting room. I don't think it's ended well for Stanley any Miller. of the times we've done this. He's being met with like a horrible fate. Input received. What did I do there? Okay, let's carry on. Okay, let's when zoom. When Stanley came to a set of two important doors, stops to make, he ended feeling a wave of disbelief. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Not again! I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take your time. There is no more content in the broom closet. Okay. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. So we should go upstairs this time. Yeah. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. It's true, I couldn't have. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. That's so Descending lucky. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Can I just go back up? Whoops. Nope. Uh, never mind. Stanley actually got back <laughs> into the elevator and went back up. Silly me. Yeah, let's ride the elevator again. Incredible. Now he's getting back into the elevator and going down again. Ladies and gentlemen, how does he keep coming up with all of this? <laughs> Did you think we were going to go forward down the spooky corridor? No. It's time once again to go back up in the elevator. Oh my god. It's the boss's <laughs> office. <sighs> this absolutely changes everything for me. Give me a time out here for a minute while I process this. Oh, we're taking a break. <laughs> Does he not have anything to say this time? I've just thought of something. Hold on, let's stop for a moment. Don't you realize? It's the anticipation, oh. Stanley. You and I, we have no way of knowing what will be at the top of this elevator. But the suspense, the agony of waiting and anticipating and having to guess, that's the real thrill. Oh, I simply don't want to let that feeling go. It's so precious, so fleeting. Why don't we take this elevator ride nice? And slow. Yeah, we're just gonna enjoy these moments together. I want stories that surprise me, Stanley. I want to have to think. I want to be engaged and not pandered to. We're being fed such unimaginative drivel all the time and we all know it, which is why we're so starved for content that makes us feel sharp and vital and alive. We're doing our That's best here like on our so Twitch live Stanley, stream. Because you're not afraid to spit in the face of tradition. I've gathered a little press conference for you so that you can talk about your work and your storytelling and your life. Yes, I know you're not much for the public eye, but I thought it would especially mean a lot to the people who have been following you from the beginning. Oh, Jesus. They really look up to you, Stanley. 
I don't know if you realize the impact you have on them. This is the kind of gesture that might leave a tremendous impact on them for the better. Oh good, we're here. The button's broken. I want to just go back down the elevator again. Oh! Oh, no, we're here! Oh my god! I guess that's an ending. Input received. Okay, that's on a different computer that time. Yeah, so that's moved. Okay, so each time we come back, just look for that computer. Feeling a wave of disbelief, no! Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. No! I can't wait to meet up with my friends and uh, ask them, Did you get the broom closet ending? That was my favorite. To Can I just be like... He began wildly to... Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story <laughs> as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music. Oh, that's pretty good. That was pretty calm. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Narrator. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. I could just leave. I could just... I can't help it. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. That's quite unfortunate. In we go. Oh, that can't be good. <laughs> As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Oh no, uh, we actually Stanley don't have can't long. see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. See you later, Mr. Narrator. Oh! Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Hello? And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Let's go through here. The office. Uh, there's a desk model. The two doors. A set of two open doors was the very first concrete piece of the Stanley Parable's design. Once this room was created, the rest of the game merges as an extension of it. An exploration of the contradiction this room posed. Narration outtakes. Kevin Brighton, the voice of the narrator, recorded dialogue for the entire game roughly three separate times over the two years of development. These are clips from early takes that were not used in the final game. Where were all of his co-workers? Oh, I don't know. How about they're throwing a surprise party for him for all his button pushing? Does that sound Stanley plausible to you? Number six. Stanley pushed to the number six did not make it to the final game. In December 2018, we announced the Ultra Deluxe version of the Stanley Parable at the Game Awards. These are screenshots of the videos we made for the announcement and the game's delay. So this, is, this will be some of the new content that we have to look forward to as we experience this game. We've not found it yet, but we live in hope. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Uh, sure. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, do choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't- I've got a moment. Do I do it? Oh, but I kind of want to see what happens. <laughs> I'm not sure what I expected. New content! <laughs> go oh, with? new content? What does that mean, new content? What's in here? Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh! 
As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. Okay. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting oh. audiences the world over. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Yeah, let's go. All right. New content. All right, let's see it. The jump circle. The jump circle? Press space the jump. But only when you're in the circle. Oh, we gotta get our mileage out of this. What does that do? Goodness, another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, Initial impressions of this game are not positive. Oh no. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. That There's would actually be hours very of new content insane. right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if. Oh, wait. There's more. Very good. Thank you for enjoying the new content. <laughs> oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says... Test achievement, please ignore. <laughs> what quality assurance department signed off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended. And I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally. Oh, no. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley Parable is really about. No frills, no gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. Yeah, what sure do you thing. say, friend? Sure thing. Let's restart. Psst. Stanley, oh. come over here. In the vent. I want to show you something. Oh, I don't know if I want to go in the vent just because track gets riled up. Like, that's fucking comedy gold. Oh my god, he's got into the air circulation system. Somebody clip that shit. A boat to the front page of Reddit. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the <laughs> game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Take a look. What is this? I call it the memory zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone ah, remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was solid with a cheap re-release? Remember back in October of 2013 when the game originally launched? Back then, video games oh had integrity. God. Back then, it all meant something. Oh, the waste. There's their BAFTA they got. Oh, wait, wait, no, I... No, that's The Last of Us. Our first kiss, my first card, the release of the Stanley Parable in 2013. Oh, I kind of want that poster now. Go outside, don't play for five years. Oh, I might be actually able to get that achievement now. That's an actual achievement for the original version of this game. Just don't play it for five years. Last play, January 3rd, 2014. I can get it. I went outside. Oh, nice. I've been wanting to cross that one off. <laughs> All the awards. is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art. Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. High, high That's praise. how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. Oh, the snake oil salesman routine. Oh, I remember that trailer. That's so good. I recently received an email from a man named Raphael who writes, 
I just played your game, and I'd like to say it was the most annoying thing I ever played. It had its cool moments, but overall the experience was only of annoyance. The problem is that it does not touch the heart of people. It's a very emotionless game. Did you ask any girls to try out your game? I ask because they are blissfully less logical than us guys. People play games because of what they can do inside them, and your game is very good at letting them know they can't do anything. Overall, your game is on a good path, I think. Good luck with it. Made and it gods, Raphael. This is the story of a love samurai named Stanley. In this new version, you play the ghost of a dream of a memory of a cyborg warrior trying to find his dead wife inside a poem. <laughs> Wait a minute, did he just describe the plot of cyberpunk? You play the ghost of a dream of a memory of a cyborg warrior trying to find his dead wife inside a poem. Not quite a poem, but it's close. The Stanley Parable is breaking ground by allowing the player to do literally anything. <laughs> Let's look at an example. In this scenario, the player has just infused a bicycle with the soul of his great-great-great-uncle Hermophrodes. Ah, it seems that the player has chosen to use the haunted bicycle to deceive townsfolk as a part of his snake oil salesman ruse. How bold. Many players may be too logical <laughs> to appreciate the Stanley Parable. So in the options menu, you'll be able to adjust for your own personal play style. Try playing in Raphael mode for a real challenge. Rave reviews for the game have been pouring in. John Gamerson writes, I've played thousands of hours and had my heart touched 176 times so far. It really hurts. How do you turn that off? While a woman writes, this place has shoes. I love shoes. Oh my God. Shopping, 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 shopping. Quests will be broken up into... Ah. It seems we've just encountered one of the game's anti-piracy measures. We can continue to look to Raphael as a messiah for narrative progress. I'm upset that he was so annoyed by my first game, since it has always been my intention to become a person of respect, consideration, and unyielding empathy for others. But until I figure out how to do that, I think we should take some time here at the end of the video just to piss him off a bit. <coughs> Stanley, 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 Stanley. It's so Stanley. good. It's so Stanley. good. Oh no. Oh god, no. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, the <laughs> oh, online no. video game distributor. I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's being collecting down here. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Uh-oh. Oh, no! Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. This preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley? I'm not preachy, am I? You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Ah. Uh... goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. I feel like a fool. Oh, no. Like I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. Oh, no, Mr. Narrator. He's not doing too well. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. A skip button? Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then Wait, they played then it ten hours. Skip ahead for just a moment. Surely it couldn't hurt. And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning starts. <laughs> oh, you're back. You see, you were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice in video games. Of course, I happen to believe it was perhaps one of my more profound such ruminations. Not that, of course, you need a description of it, but if I had to describe it, I'd say it was perhaps less <laughs> oh of a ruination than a treatise. Or 
maybe a manifesto. If by articulating a choice you've already made, you bring that choice into being, then by making no choice and saying nothing, are you not simply erecting in the sanctuary of time a monument to every person you've ever been, making every choice to which you've ever given your great gift of mortal and yet timeless thought, or rather, do all of the choices you've ever made, in fact, make you more not this kind of person, and in fact, do the very opposite? I think it has much more of a treatise vibe to it. But wouldn't you say that Manifesto just has a much grander sort of tone? It has a mouthfeel that is rich with ambition and history. Ambitious history, if you will. I'm going to say each word back and forth in repeated succession until I become sick of one or the other, in which case the word I am not sick of shall be the victor. It is an unimpeachable they strategy just standing. Talk for it's as rescued long me as from they disaster could. in countless situations. All right, here we go. Treatise. Manifesto. <laughs> Treatise. Manifesto. Treatise. He's saying it slightly Manifesto. differently. Treatise. Manifesto. Relax at ASMR. Manifesto. We must persevere. Manifesto. The beat goes hard. Treatise. Manifesto. Let's make it more exciting real quick. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Treatise. Manifesto. Treatise. Manifesto. Treatise. Manifesto. Treatise. Manifesto. Treatise. Manifesto. Here we go. <laughs> Treatise. Manifesto. Treatise. Ma no, stop there. Stop that there. Manifesto. Oh, uh, press Treatise. the button. Oh, I can't wait to see what Cookie Nine will say about this and whether they'll edit the rating of their Steam review or at least change some of the wording, perhaps. People are going to go find their review I don't and even like know one can it. change their review in the first place. How about this? From the ashes of depravity rises the phoenix of quality. How else to describe the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe? Such a revolutionary step forward in the lineage of one of the most beloved video game properties of all time. Treatise. You Manifesto. And you may become more Treatise. so much Manifesto. more than you were Treatise. before. Manifesto. Any message to Treatise. Be taken from Manifesto. Manifesto. Treatise. Treatise. Manifesto. Save me from this hell. Wait. How do we get out of here? Where did the door go? Oh, Wasn't no. there a door that led into this room? I do feel quite certain that there was one here before. How else would we have gotten into the room in the first place? I don't think one can enter a room without a door of some sort or a window or something like that. Do you see a window anywhere? A porthole? A sufficiently large crack in the wall? We oh, we should have paid more attention time. to the fern I... earlier. Treatise. Manifest. Kind of <laughs> don't press the skip. Stanley! Stanley! Stanley, please don't push the button again. It's been 12 hours. You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really... Tr oh, Stanley. <laughs> You're back. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. Someone to talk to again. Do it, Not asshole. that you might save me or do something to fix I'm losing my mind. But merely... Can you listen to my baby you, girl until he's done? Of existence. I'd waste I money on Morbius before do. going that perhaps through one this. Day, this oh, that guy's really upset. Stanley Parable ratings got nothing on the Morbius ratings, baby. Oscar Sweep climbing up every reward. Morbius is a movie you could see this year. Oh, I think he left to see Morbius. Hello? Hello? He's still watching Morbius. <laughs> the smoke alarm's going off. The end is never the end is never the <laughs> end is <laughs> never no. the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the never the end is never the end is never the end. Treatise. Manifesto. Treatise. Manifesto. All the button stands falling over. Why is the room on its What has happened? Oh, we finally get the open world game. I've heard of games being a sandbox, but this is getting ridiculous. Was that an ending? So just time ended, like the world was gone. All of his co it escalated gone. quite a bit what from the Stanley Parable. New, new content. Oh, it's getting better. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra-deluxe nonsense. I say we take it 
one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever, The Stanley Parable 2. The sequel. Oh, look at this. Yes, you see, isn't the this far superior to an again. easily re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. An entirely <laughs> new experience, built from the ground up. Why, there are so many possibilities. It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. <laughs> My god, the scale of it. Here we are. Go on, try out some of the new features. The reassurance bucket. The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. That's new. For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? Jim. Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. But of course, in the oh, final that's gonna game, freak out this anyone button will Jim, say your uh, name, whatever name that playing is. This. <laughs> Here, forget whoever you are and simply become a person named Jim. I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim. Sleeping and waking as Jim. Falling in love and being heartbroken as Jim. Seizing all of the world's possibilities as Jim. And as Jim, watching your dreams crumble into dust. Oh, no. <laughs> Do you feel it deeply? Are you really, truly Jim right now? If so, then please step forward and press the button. Shout out to one of our mods, uh, Jim, who uh, runs our Minecraft server. <laughs> There's a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff on the Discord. He must feel very targeted right now. Jim. <laughs> yes, you see, what a thrill, what a rush, that was you. The button described you. Do it again, do it again. Jim. Ooh, it hits even harder the second time. If this were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still be worth the money. Let's take a break from the gym button. I'm too emotionally drained from all of this personal we'll away validation. There. One more time. Jim. Whoa there, cowboy. Sometimes <laughs> a person can be too much, Jim. I'm putting the gym button away. Otherwise, soon no. you'll start to lose Jim. all sense Jim. of who you Jim. actually Jim. are. Jim. Jim. It's gone. <laughs> it's merch. This t-shirt is the best new feature. I hope they actually make these. There's a QR code there. That might be to an actual store. Welcome to the official website of the Stanley Parable 2. Oh, no, that's a working QR code. Hang on. A sequel, huh? Watch our helpful and informative video to learn more about the Stanley Parable, what the journey of becoming a sequel is all about. See there, Timmy. What's that you're enjoying? Why? It's breakfast, of course. Everyone loves breakfast. But did you know that breakfast is getting a sequel? That's right. <laughs> it's called lunch. Even your parents are getting a sequel, Timmy. Their names are Rob and Jessica, and they'll be taking care of you once your original parents are sent back in time to fight a secret war for the government. <laughs> the Stanley Parable is getting a sequel too. We all know, of course, that it was your favorite game as a child. Don't you remember those long, lazy afternoons you spent playing the Stanley Parable? Watching your precious youth fritter away hour after hour. But the Stanley Parable came out years ago, and you're not a child anymore. You're a man which is like the sequel to a child. And as a man, you want manly things like taxes and cheating at baseball. It's as manly as video games can get. And if you don't believe me, let's look at the burly hunk of a man who's responsible for the game. Huh, here he is, hard at work. His name is Gregory Eightpack. And he's the cutting picture of raw, virile masculinity. When developing this particular sequel, it's important to start by thinking, what mistakes did the original Stanley Parable make? Well, first off, most of the pornography in the original game was <laughs> stolen or pirated. And it's time we paid the licensing fees <laughs> fair and square. Second, the Stanley no. Parable was catastrophic for this man named Leroy, whose personal information, including home address, social <laughs> security number, and bank information, were all displayed prominently in multiple locations <laughs> no. throughout the game. As reparation for the harm we caused him, the sequel will contain a brief and insincere apology to Leroy, tucked deep within the game, where it will be difficult to find. Finally, for the Stanley Parable made the mistake then. of leaking too many government secrets about the nature of the time wars. 
Without these intricate details of specific military tactics, the story is likely to make very little sense. But we've decided to remove them from the sequel in the interest of helping the state's efforts. We'll get to you yet, Time Dracula. If you order the Stanley Parable 2, you'll receive this cow's egg. A single egg will produce over a thousand cows, which are, of course, pretty good. the sequel to pigs. And there you have it. Everything there is to know about producing the Stanley Parable 2. Of course, you may know that there is also a game titled The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. So which game is the true sequel to The Stanley Parable? And after many weeks of diligent research, the conclusion they've reached is... Who gives a shit? <laughs> All that matters is that it's more content for you to cram down your insatiable gullet, do your civic duty, and bully your parents into buying you every version of the Stanley Parable 2 on every platform. And it's only through this connection that we'll defeat Time Dracula once and for all. <laughs> Don't let the time-traveling vampires win. Buy the Stanley to Parable 2 and pledge to support all sequels. For today, tomorrow, and into the great unknowable beyond. Well, that was wild. What's happening anymore? We're not even in the game. This is somehow related to it. Morbius is about time Dracula. No, stop that. It's not. I haven't seen it. Please don't tell me it's coming full fucking circle. It's Morbius. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm undecided on get well someday and happy 12th birthday. Which would you go with? Get well someday or happy 12th birthday. Stepneys. Get, get well someday. I like that. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Oh, happy no. 12th birthday, Stepneys, it is. No screenshots. Red is the new orange. Whole new office. The new updated Ray Trace more of the same, but in a good way. Sequel. Consistent quality with just the right amount of change. The baby's all grown up. That's a powerful image. You know what? Let's bring the jump circle back for Stanley Oh, I already Parable used all my jumps. As well. It's a oh, wait. You already spent all your jumps the first time we saw the jump circle. Oh. Hmm. Oh, well. I suppose it can just be a nice decorative piece then. Oh, that's quite disappointing. No more jumps. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as that. Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology oh, that will not exist. working. Right now, the achievement is still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley, but I guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel to at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you, and I promise it will happen. It's like it's like an actual like E3 press conference. These are the achievements for the game, right? Like get your first achievement, award it for getting any other achievements as your first, beat the game, complete the Stanley Parable. Test achievement, please ignore. Welcome back, quit the game and then start it again. You can't jump, no seriously, we disabled it. Commitment, play the Stanley Parable for the entire duration of a Tuesday. Eight, click on the door 435 times. Oh, we could get that one. Complete the Stanley Parable in under four minutes, 22 seconds, not including load times. Settings World Champion. Set all settings sliders in the menu for all available numbers. And super go outside. Oh, don't play for 10 years. This is a new version. Oh, I'm gonna have to get started on that. We're gonna have to check back in 2032. A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical. That it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, I'm happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. Oh, wait, no. You see, Stanley, anytime you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long as you hold on to the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. 
Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? <laughs> Can you feel it? Is that the bucket? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. Ah, collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable <laughs> oh, God, life. What happened here? It's Stanley. Got him. The infinite hole. Let's try that. Oh, end. Top over here. Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's There's never a door been done to before it. in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. Why is this a feature? Am I going to be able to come out? Infinite gameplay. <laughs> you see, isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue onward. Oh, thank God. Great. Now, I'm very excited <laughs> to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. Be not afraid. <laughs> okay, and I guess we're back in the hole now. Did you really need to see it again? I don't know what else there is to say, Stanley. Oh, no, it's he's going to get upset hole. again. How about we go ahead and press that teleport button again so we can get back to what's really important about... Oh. Oh, goodness. Well, this is rather embarrassing, Stanley. I'll be honest with you. I truly did not believe that anyone would actually stay in the hole long enough to hit the bottom. Oh, for heaven. You see, <laughs> I was right. The problem is you. The problem is that you like holes too much. Not normal. That's a loaded sentence. A normal person. Stop said, that. Yep, that's an infinite hole right there. Goes on forever till the end of time. Don't I'm saying it first where evil in chat say it. Oh, no, 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 no. You have a weird sort of... Oh. Did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? Had Off enough? Go. I'm positively thrilled. Gosh, how could I have guessed? <laughs> You're back in the hole. If this starts to become a thing where... Wow. It's climbing. Okay. Yes. Let's pop back up to the top, and we'll see if it gets any shorter. Oh, no, he's well, on our side. Is. Oh. The shame of my lie has come to haunt me. <laughs> not only is the hole not infinite, but it's barely even a hole at this point. It's like a swimming pool here. How is this still appealing to you? <laughs> I know you're obsessed with holes, but at this depth, I just can't see this scratching the itch. Oh, who am I to judge? You just do whatever it is you're here to do and hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. Hmm. Uh-oh. Is the, um, teleport button not working? I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. I'm out. Goodbye, Stanley. You couldn't bear to be away from the hole. What? And now you'll get more time with it than you could ever have asked for. It's a win for everyone. You get to be with the hole. I get to do literally anything else. Take care, Stanley. I hope you and the hole have a wonderful rest. Oh, no, he's leaving. <laughs> if only you had a jump left. Oh, no. I don't like how the door. Uh-oh. Down we go. We got the reassurance bucket, so we'll be all right here. What? I get to see what Stanley looks like. Change your perception. <laughs> Change your reality. Oh, <laughs> what is going on anymore? <laughs> Change yourself. <laughs> oh, good God, what is happening anymore? Stanley? 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 
<laughs> oh, good, you're awake. It seems you had sort of dozed off there, drifting away into dreamland. But we can't have that, Stanley, because this hole is just so darn fascinating that I want you to be wide awake for every second of it. Oh, you how could you? a single moment. So how about if I just pop in from time to time and wake you up to keep you really, truly focused on the hole? From the looks of things, you and I will have many, many years here in this hole, and I'm looking forward to all of them. Stay alert, Stanley. I'll be back. Toodlepip. He's leaving me again. I can't get out. <laughs> Not again. I never got to see the rest of the convention. Oh, thank God. Okay. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. We're good. We're good. Okay. It resets us to here. Was that like a different convention ending? Actual bad end. Yeah, that had to reset it. Satin's world champion. Am I only going to be able to open that door if I do this damn sentence thing? Oh my God. Like, that's, that's just torturous. Okay, video. I mean, this might wreak havoc with, like, the stream for a moment or two. Sentence World Champion, it came up, I got it. Accomplished. Aha! I can see <laughs> you've gotten job. the Settings World Champion achievement. Well done. You've experienced every setting. Traveled to all corners of the Settings menu. There's nothing you haven't seen. So, just for you, in the Stanley Parable 2, I'm including an entirely new setting. Something called Bump Scosity. What exactly is bump scosity? Well, I haven't quite figured that part out yet, but I just know that you'll be able to adjust it on some sort of slider, and that it'll be available from the settings menu. We'll sort the rest of the details out later. I hope you're looking forward to trying out every level of bump scosity in the Stanley Parable 2. Is there a bump scosity setting? What does this adjust? Maximum. Well, I can't wait for the sequel to find out what that setting does. Let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together, and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. My God. Here we go. Version 2. Even better. <sighs> Who am I kidding, Stanley? This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, of course. With respect. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? I suppose it could, but it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. <laughs> oh, they're actually doing this. It's actually a really good, like, title screen. Stanley worked for a company in a big It's now the sequel. The balloons are here. Number four to it's start. changed. Oh, yeah, there's an achievement for her. Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? <laughs> no, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Oh, we're gonna have to work well, suppose for it. suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Okay, all right. No, no, I'm, I'm stopping. Let me in. I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? Okay, wait, where's 417? Stanley felt the bucket calling to him, begging him to pick it up. Why was he not doing it? Oh, the bucket's there. Hang on, I'll get you in a sec. Oh, great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. Uh, 437 was back here. Let's see. How about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine? Where's the co- All right, back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. Okay, now go climb on employee 419's desk. There's no jump button. Yes, <laughs> this is great. You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. 416 is back out here. 
We've almost got it! Now the copy machine do that one again! Finish it off, Stanley! Five clicks on door! Four, three, zero! One, two, three, four, five! Yes! We did it! Oh, wow! That felt amazing. Just think, only a few minutes ago you believed an achievement was worth five little clicks. Really, now? What were you thinking? Uh, the achievement for this one as well, just to show it's so over the top. But we got it. You were here. <laughs> Stanley picked up the bucket. Is it now just the regular Stanley game? Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. I can still do the door on the right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. How insightful the bucket turned out to be. So we just gotta do it all again, but we have a bucket. So we can just do this now, but with the bucket. Let's go this way. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. <laughs> go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. So easy. He's Good, using said the bucket. The bucket. Now ride the lift all the, the way to the top. Story. There's something up there I need you to do. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. I want to go this way. Wait, that's the collectible. The real? They're actually in the game. No, stop. Look there on the wall. You see, there's a sign right there. It says no oh, no. buckets past this point. Stanley, how could you think it was okay to bring the bucket here? Unless, what if the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what isn't a bucket? I suppose that would explain a lot about your behavior up to this point. Which, if that's true, well, my goodness, I think we have to do something about it. This misunderstanding could have dire He's just consequences using the on the entire to stop rest us. of the game if not addressed quickly and properly. <laughs> what? Now then... I'm going to run you through some test scenarios, and you'll tell me whether or not the thing I'm showing you is a bucket. Simply enough, right? <laughs> this should tell us everything we'll ever need to know about what is or is not okay, I'm ready. a bucket. Item one. Is this a bucket? No. Correct. It is a hologram <laughs> of a bucket. Item two. Is this a bucket? No. Correct. It is a 3D printed recreation of a bucket. Is this a bucket? No. Incorrect. This is a bucket. Oh, okay. I should have known that one. <laughs> Item four. Is this a bucket? Surely. It has to be. What? Are you hallucinating? This is a tractor. It's an enormous machine that tills the earth. I thought this was a gimmick. How on earth did you manage to screw it up? <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Let's just move on to the next one. I'm having a bad day, narrator. <laughs> Is no. this a bucket? This one has to be. Correct. This is a bucket. Okay, you and I both know there isn't anything here. And I don't appreciate the implication that nothing is a bucket when we both clearly know that a bucket is something. And therefore nothing could possibly be something. Unless, in your twisted mind, have you somehow convinced yourself that a bucket is nothing? Answer me straight, Stanley. Do you believe that nothing is a bucket? Yes. I can't have that. I'm sorry. But I'm going to erase all buckets from the game. Oh, entirely. no. Okay. Here we go. It's gone! Thanos, why? Why did everything disappear? Wait, was everything a bucket? Every single thing in the game was a bucket? Oh my god, I had no idea. How could... except me. I'm not a bucket after all. And you, Stanley, you're still here. You're not why a bucket so either. Dark? Oh, this is wonderful news. Tell you what, I'll reset everything and we'll put back all of the buckets, okay? And we'll know that it's all a bucket. But if you run into anyone else, maybe don't mention that. Who knows what that information might do to a person? All right, here we go. <laughs> we got the bucket ending. Okay. Can I, like, jump? No, you... Yeah. Wait. There we go. Let's pad out to it. You found one of them. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember, 
No reward for collecting all of these, only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. You can't buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So, I implore you to savour each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. I need them all. I, I have to collect them. This, this is completely new. The sequel is now paused as well. That's interesting. What is this? Oh. Okay. This is day number 295. Tape number... <laughs> I don't even know. I've lost track. The longer I study this bucket, the less sense anything <laughs> makes. I still haven't figured out why I see the world so differently when this bucket is in my arms. Why everything feels so... What do I do with this treasure? I can monetize it. <laughs> yes. It's unthinkable the amounts of money people will pay for even just an hour with the bucket. But I have to be careful. Because as soon as this gets out, there's going to be a target on my back. Even now, I don't know who might be trying to get... What's that? What Who's is there? happening? <gasps> What? what the fuck was that? It's time, Dracula. Oh no, it's Morbius. <laughs> My god, the bumpscosity in here is absolutely overwhelming. A thousand? You people have got to be nuts. How can you stand this much bumpscosity? Oh, he's responding. <laughs> in here, said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. Sure. It's pitch black here. Oh. Now pick up the phone, said the bucket. Pick up the phone and it will take us back home where we can go about life together. This is the sad story of a man named Stanley and his bucket. Once upon a time, I gave Stanley a bucket because I thought he was lonely and could use a friend. And then, very distressingly, he began to believe the bucket could speak to him. Oh, this can't be a good ending. Hello, Stanley. It's me, your bucket. Press J to take me to work with you. The Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket was merely meant to provide the comforting glow of companionship. It doesn't literally talk and give you orders. Whatever Stanley is hearing the bucket say to him is just in his head. Lately, I've been concerned about him. Wouldn't you be concerned as well? To see him delusional like this, obsessing over an inanimate metal object? Oh, no. I want to say something to him, but I don't know how I can convince him. I don't know if he'll listen to me. He's become obsessed with the bucket. Listen to me. It's just a bucket. It can't think. It can't talk. All it will ever truly do for you is effectively transfer a liquid from one location to a different location. That's it. It doesn't do anything else. Don't listen to the loud man. Press T for us to go back home. Hey, where's the bucket? Give me the bucket again. Press T to ignore anyone in your life except for me. It's sad. But I suppose he doesn't need me anymore. From now on, he's just going to cling to this bucket. This cold, empty bucket. This sort of... Shiny bucket. Hmm. Well, I'll give it this. The bucket does have a nice shine. It does to have it. a nice shine. Yes, I suppose on closer inspection that it doesn't quite look like your average hardware store bucket. Oh no, he's recovered obsessed. More, what am I trying to say? Oh no. I'm I'm having feelings for the bucket. No, 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 no. What's going on? Why do I want to be with the bucket? Hear what the bucket has to say. Do anything it asks. What's wrong with me? I don't understand. Oh, perhaps, no. perhaps if I had the bucket, this would be less confusing. Yes, the bucket could tell me what to do in this, this troublesome really situation. Weird. Stanley, give me the bucket. Give it to me. Give me the bucket, Stanley. I need it. Give it to me now. Give it or I'll... What just happened? Go back to work, Stanley. The bucket kill him. That's a Perhaps bucket ending. Simply Mr. Memo. I don't know if I should take the bucket again. Figurine finders committee meeting today in the meeting room. How can we find them all? Bottom text. 
Maybe we are the collectibles. Everything's to do with the figurines. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, that can't be good. Oh, this is where they are. Stairs, something to do with stairs. Somewhere both red and blue. Nearby a fireplace, a private but smelly place for an important person. Oh, there must be a point. We gotta collect them all. The broom closet. Oh, Stanley, can you feel it? The broom closet, it wants the bucket. You can feel that, can't you? The aura of jealousy, it's as clear as day. This broom closet believes it deserves the bucket. The second broom closet ended. Can't you can't hand it over. Oh no, we're getting into name calling now, it seems. <laughs> Is this how <laughs> low the broom insane. closet has sunk that it has to resort to this stream of petty insults simply in order to get you to hand over the bucket? How, how do I drop the bucket? I'm getting kind of weirded out. I just put it down okay. in here. I've got you something which I think will help settle this debate once and for all. Here we go. There. Property of now Stanley. It's no more debate, no more discussion. Take a hike, broom closet. All right, I've got a second sticker back here, and I'm going to slap it on as well because I think oh. it's appropriate. You see? <laughs> I feel that it works because the sticker is also a bucket. That Wonderful. way, if you're ever unsure whether the thing you're holding is a bucket or not, you can look down at this sticker and say to yourself, Ah, oh, it's a bucket. There really is a wide variety of applications ah. for this sticker. <laughs> Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Uh, there's a collectible this way, isn't there? Another miniature Stanley figurine. This, um, you know, there really must be a snappier name for these things. What about mini stands? Stanley figs? Um, what about Stanlerines? Yes, I, like Stan I think I like that. Another Stanlerine under your belt. There's one down here, is there? Hey, these are the stairs. Oh, there is. Okay, I'm going back to the name of these little Stanley figurines. And now I'm torn between Stanlerines and Figlies. What do you think, Stanley? A Figlies pretty what good. What name better encapsulates the intrinsic sense of happiness? That you get from seeing a small number in the corner of your like screen go up by one. Sounds like Let a figure on it. I'm sure it will come to me. A fuck o pop? Why did you call it a fuck o pop? Right of the elevator. Oh yeah, there it is. You're getting close now, Stanley. Thank You've you. nearly gotten all of the figler and marines. Very soon, you'll collect the last one, and then the first number will equal the second number, and that will be it. We'll be different people by then. Different in the sense that we used to have none of them. And now we have them all. You can't go back to when you had no Figler and Marines. None of us can. I want to get a bobblehead of Stanley for my desk now. The, the, the game's marketing has worked. I also have the sudden urge to purchase a bucket. Stanley and the bucket walk straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Just hop on in. See what happens if we have the bucket here. The monitors jump to life and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. The bucket had Something's never seen anything there. like this, and it very nearly burst into tears as Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. We're gonna rescue the bucket, it's no! gonna be okay. He screamed into the bucket. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control, never! He squeezed the bucket tighter, his one friend in the entire world. At this point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Oh. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Two best friends, Stanley and the bucket, up against the world. They high-fived in a really cool way, <laughs> and the bucket made a sassy comment about taking down the system. Stanley and the bucket knew it was their obligation to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Could just turn it on. Yo, let's turn it off. Let's see what it does with the bucket. Yes, they had done it. Stanley and the bucket had defeated their greatest and darkest enemy, freed themselves from the tyrannical grip of the evil mind control machine. Freedom was now mere moments away. The bucket wanted to learn to roller skate. 
Stanley oh. wanted to sneeze in every country on Earth. Both of them wanted to begin watching Stanley, the movie. Stanley, no, we've been through a lot the last few years. Stop it halfway through <laughs> and begin watching it in reverse from the end. True, it was a simple life that. they envisioned, but it was one they'd lived together, with one another to lean on, to trust, to support. More views. It all comes full circle. What? Wait. What was happening? Oh. Why had the door stopped? Was Stanley and the bucket not about to be freed? Even the facility oh, no. itself recognized the incredible calming presence of the bucket, needed the soothing warmth of the bucket, or go to any lengths not to part with the bucket. No, no, no. Stanley can't leave this place, not while he has such a precious bucket in his arms, not while this building has anything to say about it. Stanley realized he would never again leave this very room, but at least, at least he has the bucket. To be trapped eternally in darkness isn't really so bad, Stanley thought to himself. <laughs> as long as I have my bucket with uh, me, right? I'll be okay, won't I? Stanley gulped. Very soon now, he was about to find out. Well, we got the perpetual darkness ending. Okay. Is that a phone ringing? Good morning. Thank you for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. We are confirming your shipment of 1,327 cardboard boxes to your place of work. Can you verify that this is correct? Sure. Excellent. Your order will arrive shortly. Thank you again for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. Uh, no problem. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. That's but Stanley feared that any <laughs> path he walked might lead to the separation of himself and the bucket his dearest friend. So he threw himself to his death that they might die in one another's arms. <laughs> Jesus. How deeply touching. Okay, we reset it. We can get the doors this time. All of his co-workers were gone. Oh my God. What did it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a That's memo. What's the point of this? Let me prove okay, it. Okay, here's the Let doors. Let me prove that I'm there on the side. And there it is. The last Stigley Wiggly. We got a Stigley Wiggly. this moment, Stanley. This is a real accomplishment. This is doing something just for the sake of doing it. Where so many people expect to be rewarded for the most trivial achievements, you've insisted that a job well done is its own reward. And now we can go to whatever the hell you were doing before you hunted for figurines. I was hoping it would do something more, but he did warn me. He did warn me that it's not going to do anything. <laughs> Stanley, I'm Jeez. sorry, but I have to put a pause on things. It's just, it's those figurines. I scared those the shit figures. out of me. I haven't stopped thinking about them since you nabbed every last one. Wasn't it just the most intrinsically fulfilling moment of your entire life? Didn't it fill you to the brim with inner richness? Yes, I know we're supposed to be telling a story, but won't you please indulge me with one more trip back to the memory zone? Ah, <sighs> here's where it all began. The first collectible. Back then, we had no idea of how many of them we'd find. Sure, it said six right there on the screen, but how could we know for certain? We were so innocent. We'll never be like that again, Stanley. Seven out of six? God, he's like warping and all the space. here was a second Stan Loreen. You found this one all on your own, just by poking around in the warehouse. You did that, Stanley. I'll be honest. Back then, I had no faith in you to find any of them. So let accomplished. Alone six. Okay, let's do a little quiz. Which of these rooms was the room you found your third mini stand? Can you remember? I'm gonna misremember. I want to see what happens. No, 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 no. Under the stairs was the fourth place you found a fig Anley, not the third. Well, I guess perhaps I shouldn't be surprised. Go Memories like these are so precious oh. and so cherished that they all That's just <laughs> sort of blend together, don't they? You know what? If under the stairs feels like the third place you found a collectible, then who am I to go making judgments? I don't remember this one. Oh yes, we found a figly in this pink room. Oh well, I can't actually say I remember being in this room, this... but it's here in the memory zone, so it must have happened. Okay. I don't. This this wasn't a room at all, but it was Dan. You just this forgot. This was the fifth mini stand, and this one was really something special. It was behind the boss's office. I remember it so clearly. Eleven out of In six. fact, because this one is particularly special to me, I made a little video to commemorate the occasion. Enjoy. Wait, <laughs> what?
fuck is... What's that over there? <laughs> it's Ministat, hashtag five. Oh, they actually use Windows Movie Maker for this. What year is this? We found it behind the boss's office. Thanks for watching. Oh, oh. Okay, Mr. Narrator. <laughs> <sighs> Takes you back, doesn't it? I spent a lot of time making that video, but it was eight minutes I wouldn't have spent on anything else. <laughs> It was a different time for YouTube content. And then, Stanley, then we came to the last collectible, the final figurine, right here by the red and blue doors. This memory is the most distinct and clear in my mind, perhaps because it was the one that happened more recently than all the others. My God. Who can truly say how the mind works? All I know is that this is the moment where you picked up a figly and I thought to myself, yes, that's all of them. They're all collected. It was a moment unlike any other. Except for the other moments picking up figurines, which it was exactly like. And then there was no more. Because we've caught oh, up we've to caught the up. present moment. Nothing left to do but the move past. onward into the future. Goodbye, memory zone. Oh. Um, no, 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 I'm not done. I'm not ready to move on. Stop the loading screen. Isn't there some way we can stay here, keep enjoying these figurines? Let's just go backwards. We'll do the memory zone again from the opposite direction. See how that feels. Oh, the, the man is obsessed with these figures. I shouldn't have collected them. Wait, is that the fern? That's the fern. Remember this. I must say, of all the figurines we looked at in our initial tour of the memory zone, this one is the most distinct and clear in my mind. Let's keep going. I want more. He's just saying... And here's where I made that video. Don't you remember the video we watched? <laughs> no. Yes, I love that video. Oh my god, he's gone mad. This is it. The very first one we found in the exhibit where I introduced you to the figlerines. Get me out of oh, here. I want more memories, Stanley. I want to keep going. What else is there? What came before this? No, no, you've had enough. Get out of here. I remember hating it back then. But time does put a rosy filter on everything. In fact, I dare say I'm actually quite fond oh, of Oh no, he's now. just taking us back through everything now. the past is. I want more. More <laughs> no. memories. Oh yes, the two doors. Who could have forgotten that? A classic memory, this one. It doesn't even matter anymore. <laughs> I remember before this whole story got started. Back then I was... I was different. I used to make big decisions. I was passionate. I was skeptical. I weighed each decision with profound thoughtfulness. And then somewhere along the way, I stopped making decisions. I became lazy and I came up with, well, came up with a character named Stanley to do my thinking for me. I want to go back to how it used to be. Yes, I can be on my own again. I can do it. I'll be stronger this time. I'll take care of myself. I don't need Stanley anymore. Oh, but he truly was so much fun to play with. You know what? Since we're in the memory zone, how about one more good memory? Let's go back just once and give Stanley one more run of the office and then I'll retire him for good. I did enjoy telling his story oh, this is so it. very much. Okay, here we go. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Our final, oh wait, we got the inputs. Wait. Wait, no, what have, what have I done? Why? Why is Stanley already dead? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Was that all the input was for? Enjoy heaven. <laughs> I can begin the game again and get out that way. I think I might have to. Okay, so don't don't press that anymore. We've unlocked Stanley goes to heaven, the ending. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. And okay, what well, ending are we getting with the bucket? This is our last run of it. Oh, good, Stanley. I'm glad you found your way here. I knew you'd find this place eventually. <laughs> you see, your friends and I are concerned for you, Stanley. 
We've come together here because we care about you very much. The bucket isn't even from the original Stanley Parable. It's just sequel content. We're the ones that matter, Stanley. Classic characters from the first game, like the Adventure Line and the Broom Closet. Because that's what there. fans want from a sequel. They want more of their favorite jokes, not this bucket that they've never seen before. Don't you want another story involving the Adventure Line? We could make the adventure line go somewhere new. Yes, yes, that's what the fans want. Let's do it. I don't, I don't like the adventure line. Wee! Look at that wacky line. Who <laughs> knows where it'll go off to next? Oh, and it played some silly music as well. No, not this again. We need to get rid of the bucket. That's why I'm very proud to introduce a brand new character. <laughs> no. This is the Bucket Destroyer. Oh, no! I think it'll make a wonderful new addition to the rich lore of the Stanley Parable. Can you guess what the Bucket Destroyer does? <laughs> no! Surely you don't need me to spell it out for you. Is there Go an ahead off now, button? Stanley. Say goodbye to the Bucket, and then pop it into the machine when you're ready. Destroying Buckets is all it knows. That is its singular personality trait. Sure, I can hear you saying, how does a character with only one personality trait He's deserve to angry. join the pantheon of beloved Stanley Parable characters? Well, you see, if you were to really explore the Bucket Destroyer, you'd see that its desire to crush buckets is so densely loaded with complexity and nuance that. that it's really like ten personality traits. What other object in this game can you even say that about? The broom closet? Certainly not. I wonder what sort of Bucket Destroyer merchandise the fans will be clamoring for after this. It's Quickly getting now. There. The fans are waiting. Do it, the fans, Stanley. Give the fans what they want. Hurry and... <laughs> The Bucket Destroyer, my prized creation. You had so much potential. We were going to do such marvelous things with you, tell such spell-binding stories about you. All of it squandered now. Goodbye, new friend. For the moment in time that you were here, you were magnificent. We lost a new character already. Where are we going today, the Bucket asked. Stanley just smiled. Anywhere they went together would be perfectly fine with him. And that's when Stanley realized, this isn't my bucket. It's just a normal, everyday bucket. Someone else's bucket. My friends. God. How did I end up with someone else's bucket? This is all terribly wrong. Surely no good would come from this. Who knows what sorts of bizarre hallucinations Stanley might experience without the psychologically grounding presence of his bucket. And indeed, now he noticed that the rooms were repeating, which was, of course, very odd. And now he felt himself floating off the ground. Oh, gracious. Oh, where'd the bucket go? Without my bucket, I've gone truly mad. He rushed forward from room to room, passing by one <laughs> bucket after the next. None of them were his. None of them were his special bucket. Come to me, Stanley. Find it's me. It's getting way worse in he here. He had to find the bucket. He had to return to his old friend. It was the only way to truly restore his sanity. And then suddenly froze dead in his tracks. He knew where the voice of the bucket had been coming from. The real bucket was inside of what? him all along. It was incredibly painful. Stanley doubled over in agony and blacked out. I, he's dead. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Oh, it's this ending again. <laughs> she arose, got dressed, picked up her bucket of comfort. Except she's security, got a bucket to now, a too. <laughs> this man had no bucket. Of course he'd gone mad, ranting and raving about a narrator now. describing all of his actions and how everything is predetermined and free will is an illusion and it's all just a video game. It could all have been prevented if only he'd taken his bucket with him. Perhaps he didn't even realize he'd forgotten his bucket at home in the first place. How cruel the world can be, Mariella thought, and she hugged her own bucket even tighter. But of course, she had no time for this. There were a myriad of confusing problems she would soon have to confront at work, for which her bucket would provide I kind of want a bucket now. Total yep. clarity I don't know everything. why. Heck yes, she thought to herself. My life He just keeps, keeps saying ass. bucket. And she backflipped all the way to work. I kind of want to get one. I don't, I don't know what I'd do with it.